Ron, what do you take from last night moving forward to the final three games here as you prep for the for the big dance next week? I mean, solid. Played a solid game. Got a little hairy late. We got in a penalty trouble the first 10. The third period was was really good. We did a good job um, getting the lead and keeping them out of our half of the ice. Got a little hairy, like I said, with penalty trouble at the end and impressed by them, but good win. Nice to confirm our spot in the playoffs here, and we'll go from there. What do you want to see in these last three games to prepare for the playoffs? Similar, yeah. similar game like we played last night. We're still only four back of uh, Boston here. You know, it's not the best position to be, but it's not impossible. So, um, you know, we have a, we'll have a big challenge. This team will be coming in here looking to do the same thing we did last night, which is put themselves in or, you know, real close in much better position. So this will be a real good test for us. It's a good way to get yourself playing in a mode that you're going to have to play because uh, this team's going to be bringing everything they got. I mean, that's a hard, it's a hard, you know, yesterday and today, zero, because we've got the Islanders in Carolina, but, you know, so it's, um, having said that, we're aware that's a team we've probably been lined up against for a while, so there's there's certain things uh, over the course of the days where you think or prepare in a way that, you know, you might have to be focused on, but it's it's difficult when you're playing teams every, you know, every couple of days that you have to prepare for also for specific specific things, so. It's obviously in your mind at some point, but day to day right now, it's difficult because you got games. Is it more about focus, like instead of preparing for how another team plays, is it more about sharpening just what you do well, knowing that the team you're going to play is just a real good team? Yeah, that's a very nice, very nice way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> really good. How much do you think this group has grown since last year? How much better prepared do you think you are for this run this time around? Well, I'm. It's hard to tell right now. I like, you know, we went through a stretch of games for about a week and a half, 10 days, which were extremely poor. And now we've come back and, and fixed some things um, in our game that have allowed us to play much better for maybe 10 days to two weeks. So um, play in a way that I think we all could agree has a much better chance of success. So that's, that's much more positive. But, you know, the proof will be in the play here coming up in the next couple of weeks. What worked well last night for, for good quick passes? I had Cali obviously very good at that as well. But uh, what did you like as the forwards and you guys got together in terms of minimizing time in the, the D zone and getting things going back up the other way? Yeah, I mean, it's mostly about getting back to pucks first and then having good communication, working it out as quick as you can. If we can move the puck to our forwards early in shifts when they're fresh, they have a much better chance of being able to go the other way and create great offense. And if you spend 30 seconds in your zone, it's pretty simple. So. If we do that, we'll have a good chance every night.